Hello, this is Melissa, owner and designer here at Paper Truly. This tutorial will show you how to insert liners into envelopes. Liners are a single sheet of text weight paper. They're not cover weight like an invitation card would use. They are available in lots of different paper styles, way more than I can hold here in my hand. Um, but they can also be custom printed with any design you like, like this one right here, or photograph, anything. They're a great way to add a pop of color and formality to any invitation, but they're also super functional. Lined envelopes add rigidity that protects the invitation through mailing, especially if it's bulky, like if you have ribbon around the invitation. And if you're using a light colored envelope, liners will conceal the invitation so that you don't see it through the envelope, which is really nice. We have two different styles of liners. We have standard liners, which are like this, what I was holding before. And we have these really unique leaf shaped liners that have a little bit of a different approach with the assembly and we will cover that for you too. The tools you need are a scoring tool like this and a double-sided permanent tape runner adhesive like this. Both of these tools you can find at Amazon.com or in most craft supply stores. First I'm going to open the envelope, take my liner and slide it in. I'm going to center it and set that liner just below the gum line on the envelope. So when I have it centered, I'm going to turn it and I'm just going to put adhesive with my runner on the top flap because the way an envelope liner works is that it has to move ever so slightly up from the bottom when you pull the top flap. That's just how the envelope liner works. So we're only going to put adhesive on the top and we're going to press it nice and firm. Then we're going to flip it over and just kind of pinch it with our fingers, grab your scoring tool, and run it along that edge. Now this tool really is necessary for doing this step, because otherwise you won't get a good crease without scraping that envelope there. Scoring tools have a really nice like rounded edge that won't damage the paper as you press. So I definitely recommend getting one of these and not using your fingernail or a letter op opener or some other tool. So here we have our beautiful creased envelope liner that moves ever so slightly when we lift up that top flap. For our leaf shaped liners, you're going to do all of the steps the same. We're going to stuff it in here. We're going to center it, but instead we're going to flip it over this way and we're going to put the adhesive on the actual leaf, not on the envelope. And this is because you don't want the adhesive to show on the envelope. You just want it where that shaped edge is. And so we're gonna press it down like this. And that prevents the adhesive from showing through where that shaped edge is right there. And of course we will finish it in exactly the same way by pinching the top of that, taking our scoring tool and giving it a nice crisp score there. Now, you might be wondering what it's like to open a sealed envelope that has a liner. Traditionally, liners are used only on inner envelopes for formal invitations, and inner envelopes do not get sealed. An inner envelope with a liner can remain pristine, while the outer envelope becomes a sort of shield to protect the suite from mailing, and mailing can be vigorous, so that is a smart thing to do. Inner envelopes are optional, so you can line an outer envelope, which does get sealed, in most cases, this adds enough rigidity to the outer envelope's flap, and they open just fine. But how the envelope fares may depend on the manner in which the recipient opens it, which is completely unpredictable. We don't know if they're going to be really careful about opening your flap, or if they're just going to dive into it and rip it to pieces. We don't know that at all. It's unpredictable. If you are curious, we experimented on this a little bit for you with some different methods of opening envelopes that were sealed with liners. The results can be found on our blog at papertruly.com slash how to use invitation envelopes. I definitely recommend reading through that before deciding whether you want to use just outer envelopes that will seal and have a liner. They have the liner and then they get sealed. Or if you want to do an unlined outer envelope but that has an inner envelope that gets the liner and the inner envelope doesn't get sealed. Anyway, happy envelope lining. You can purchase our unique envelope liners or any of our other stationary designs at papertruly.com.